my boys what up and welcome back it's your boy elio the one and only so uh c star is back for our three star rebirth and then lucy is our four star rebirth so i figured i would just briefly cover c star real quick the only c stars that are worth even mentioning because i've done a c star review so if you haven't seen that yet please check it out but the only c stars worth mentioning are just the light and dark ones if i can find the light one real quick um the light one she does require a square for her to for her moves to actually work so if you can get one with a square i definitely would recommend that if you can't get one get one with a square it's not the end of the world because you could still put her on an intuition set but she might be slightly more you know slightly less reliable because if she doesn't crit then shock and attack down won't work and of course she can be skill booked i believe and with dark sea star she's just a defense aggressor you don't have to have a square on her if you want to make her a little bit more attack based or a little bit more crit based then having a square on her works out just fine but you don't have to have a square on her for her to do what she needs to do having a square on Amon always helps it's not necessary but it always helps so again you don't have to have a square on her but if you do congratulations but anyways let's go ahead and get into the lucy review since lucy is our four star rebirth mon now that um incubus has left and where is lucy so i'll start with the dark and light and then go backwards so the dark one she's an attacker type she's coming in with 27k hp 3.4k attack and then 2.2k defense nearly 2.3k defense um a as an attacker, her stats are pretty solid. I mean, defense is a little bit low, but her attack is 3.4k. You know you got to build her with some type of crit on her to maximize that damage. I have no complaints about her stats, and she has Hunter and Exposed Weakness. She, she has a 50% Hunter. A 50% Hunter, which is gross. Exposed Weakness is very, very nasty as well, especially paired up with another, another Snow White if you have one, or another... Good, uh, if you have a good Tito, even that with exposed weakness is like supreme OP OP. So definitely give her a square. If she doesn't have a square, I'm sorry because Hunter is just useless without without a square. If she can't crit, Hunter is 100% useless. But the dark one is cream of the crop, man. Cream of the crop. A fantastic nat for her. I I use my Lucy like every day. Not even going to lie. The next one is Light Lucy, Light Snow White. Uh, she's coming in. She's a tank type, the light one is. She's coming in with 39k HP, 2k attack, and then 2.4k defense. Stat-wise, not phenomenal at all. Defense is a bit low. Attack doesn't really matter because she's a tank. But she's coming in with nearly 40k HP, so no complaints there. And she is double shock, so... Uh, Unlike Dark Lucy, who is m pretty much like a nuker, this one's more of just your basic defense mon. Uh, I believe she compares to probably Light Yuki the most, and Lucy does have skill books as well, but she's more of a defense mon. You could get away with using her in Clan vs. Clan, um, PvP of course, and that's probably it. I mean, that's probably it. Let me go check out light yuki real quick i have two that i have not built to evil three yet oh i lied i have one at evil three so the light one is an attacker type decent more attack on her than lucy but that doesn't mean that lucy isn't useful as well because she's a lot more tankier she's going to do less damage than light yuki but it doesn't mean that she's completely useless either so if you want to use her I would use her on defense and not offense. So let's go over here to the Wood Lucy next. Woodsy. We're going to call her Woodsy. Did I pass her? I don't think I passed her. Oh, I did. So Wood Lucy is a balance type. And she's coming in with 30k HP. 2.3k attack and then 2.4k defense nearly 2.5k defense um stat wise it's okay it's nothing too phenomenal it's okay and she comes with sap and petrification 
very very weird choice there's no real use for this I would honestly not tell you guys to build her when you take into the fact that you have to sacrifice at minimum 15 more nat 4s you know to get her to evo 3 this one is not very good sap is useful in itself petrification is useful in itself if you're like water purse but I don't find petrification useful for any other mon her sap is fine but she should just be a double sapper or have something else instead of petrification for her first move or something else other than you know sap as her first move I mean petrification as her second move so not very useful at all there's other sappers in the game and again petrification is only useful in my opinion if you're water purse so let's move on to the water one so the water one is an attacker type she's coming in with 28k HP 3.2k attack and then 2k defense stat wise again defense is a little bit low so I would definitely recommend a defense gem for her but other than that it's pretty darn it's pretty solid and she comes with double attack down so 100% right off the bat this is just a Titans mon which there's nothing wrong with that purely a Titans mon and she, again she does have skill books so if you're hardcore into Titans and you need a reliable um, mon for fire Titans then I definitely could recommend this one again to probably need a defense gem on her to kind of offset that lack of defense but other than that I mean she should be solid of course there are better mons for this because she's an attacker type when you can get someone like water Shelly which is more easily farmable and he still mostly does the job but one of his moves have predator on it I believe and this one's just pure debuffing so her goal is just to stay alive for Titans and that's it so if you have spare Lucy's after you built the light and dark ones then I could definitely recommend going for this one if I do get enough I I'm I might end up building her I mean just to have I can always use more nat fours for Titans so she's definitely third on the list in my opinion and then last we have fire Lucy who is an attacker uh, she's coming in with 23k HP 3.3k attack and then 2.3k uh, defense stat wise again HP is kind of low but her defense and her attack do make up for it they're they're fairly decent she's a little bit squishy but her stats overall I can't really complain with that and she comes with HP siphon and seal so again more of a clan versus clan slash PvP probably PvP defense mon I don't really see using her on, on attack even though her attack is pretty darn high um, but she has her own self sustain and then she also gets her seal off hopefully within a couple of turns and 80% chance for two turns is solid so that's pretty much her her biggest use I mean she's definitely not bad especially if you're just getting into PvP and if you have the mons to build her I would recommend it but you know I would again go for the dark one first if you don't have the dark one I recommend the dark one she is phenomenal for a lot of content if you interested in PvP go for the light one after that and then I would recommend probably the fire one for PvP if you're not interested too much in PvP whether it's for your attack or defense and that same thing goes for clan versus clan but you're interested in Titans go for the water one but that's pretty much the Lucy review you guys um shout out to all the boys in discord requesting this you know your boy has gotten you and if you guys have a chance go ahead and check out Sushi Hana's channel as well uh, he's been pretty hardcore and uploading some MSL videos and you know we're just trying to provide more content to the people that matter but um as always guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video peace out